Hi, my name is Gary Thompson. I'm the Chairman and CEO of Brixton Metals Corporation. We're trading on the TSX Venture. Our ticker is BBB. So Brixton Metals is a gold-silver exploration company. We've got three projects in Canada and we've got a project in uh, Northwest Montana. It's mainly a silver-gold uh, focus. Uh, we also have some uh, cobalt credits on our Ontario uh, project and we have some base metal credits on our uh, both Montana and Northwest BC project. So I think for investors, why, why take a look at Brixton? I think the strategy for us was to acquire strong gold-silver projects in a stable jurisdiction. Uh, we've got a very strong uh, management team. Uh, we have skin in the game. Um, we're we're discovery-driven, so our goal is to advance these projects, uh, ideally make a big discovery on one of these projects and advance these things towards feasibility. I think the exciting thing in the short term for us today is that we're act actively drilling in Ontario We've got about a 10 to 15,000 meter campaign in Ontario for high grade silver and cobalt. So that should be a, a pretty good amount of news flow coming out from the company over the next two quarters, I would say. And then it's gonna probably transition into uh, some drilling work that we're gonna be doing in Montana on our uh, new, newly acquired De Hog Heaven project, uh, which we think has some, some exceptional uh, potential. So between the two uh, projects, we're gonna have uh, a really good amount of news flow coming out. So we're, we're excited to see what kind of drilling results we can generate here. So our cobalt project consists of actually two past producing mines. Uh, one is called Langus, which operated by Agnico Eagle Mines up until 1990. And then the other one is called Hudson Bay uh, Mine, which produced some very high grade uh, silver. In fact, native silver, spectacular uh, native silver uh, occurs on, in the mine. And so these are brownfields exploration projects. So the idea would be to, to work, do the drilling in around the workings and see if we can find extension to, to the mine working. So it's not early stage grassroots. We know there's some production there and we're looking to build some more meat on the bones that would allow us to get this thing back into production. But what's interesting is what attracted us to the projects were the high grade silver nature. Um, what's interesting is over the last year we saw a explosion of interest in the cobalt sector. So we've had another look at, at, at the sector. In fact, we looked at the projects and say, well, okay, yeah, we know there's high grade silver here, but where's the cobalt in the system? And in, interestingly, uh, there's some parts of the, the mine workings that had uh, quite high grade uh, cobalt. And in fact, when, so we get a couple different, different generations of veins, you get the high grade uh, cobalt veins that have not much silver, one to three ounces of silver. Well, the miners back then were looking for 100 ounce silver material. They weren't really focused on, on the low silver content. So we think there's good opportunity to, to take another look back at those uh, cobalt veins and, and really you know, give it a go to see, see if we can put something together. Um, in addition to that, we we'll want to look at some of the high grade veins as well. We think there's still good potential for the high grade silver part of the system. So it's a combination of silver and, and cobalt. Um, obviously, and have some other um, base metal credits as well. So, so for the cobalt project, I think the, the objective is going to be to define a mineralized zone that we could build enough material to put it into a maiden resource. And we don't think we need a lot of material given the high grade nature of the mineralization in the system. And then the next step, obviously, if you've got enough material, then you could start to look at, at economics towards it, you know, PEA perhaps. The Hog Heaven project is in northwest Montana. It's a, a, actually historically was a silver focused uh, project and they were looking for uh, basically high grade silver. So we, we acquired the asset uh, from Pan American Silver for a million dollars in stock. So it worked out to, at the time, 2.68 uh, million shares of, of Brixton for the asset. So we, we thought we had a great deal on our, on our hands. Although it came with about 60 boxes worth of paper data, it didn't have a lot of uh, current uh, exploration techniques applied to it. So it sat dormant for the last 25 years. What's interesting to us though, as we've gone through this data now, we recognize that, um, yeah, there's a lot of high grade silver here. There's over 722 holes. So it's not an early stage uh, project. It brings a, an advanced stage type project to, to Brixton. And what we're excited about as we, as we dig through the data is we're seeing some pretty impressive silver intercepts. Um, so they assayed for silver and gold mainly. Um, and what's interesting is that they, they never assayed for a lot of the base metals. And so we've got a number of holes where they have base metals. In some cases, if you just take the silver and then you add in the gold and the base metals the, on a silver equivalent basis, you get in some cases up to 200% times greater than, than just the silver itself. So we see it as a silver dominant. We've got gold and significant base metal credits um, to, to, you know, to the value there. So we're pretty intrigued by that. Um, we've just recently plotted up um, a lot of the drill data. We've still got some work to go through on, on, um, on, on that data. 
but uh, we, we believe with the, the work that we have in, uh, in front of us, uh, there's going to be a good amount of drilling, probably starting uh, in the spring and uh, with some twinning of some holes and then with some additional drilling, uh, basically push that towards the PEA stage uh, as soon as we can. In addition to the uh, cobalt silver project we have in Ontario and the Montana silver gold project uh, that we have, we have two uh, very attractive earlier stage projects in Northwest BC. Uh, one is called Thorn. It's a district scale gold, silver, uh, additional base metals in there as well. We've had some tremendous success on, on the property to date, but it is you know, a little bit remote. It, it needs some, some infrastructure build, but we've had very good success on the ground. So we see that as a, as a very large scale uh, project opportunity. And then we have most recently uh, our project called Atlan Gold uh, Project, and it's actually part of the Atlan Gold Camp that produced a lot of placer gold. What's interesting about that project is um, while they've produced a lot of gold from, from the gravels uh, at surface, um, they haven't really found the source to all this gold. And it's a large area, again, it's a district scale play, but the source of that, uh, a lot of that plastic gold has yet to be found. So in summary, why should investors look at a company like Brixton Metals? We've got a strong technical management team, a discovery driven, a skin in the game. I personally own about 5% of the company. Our management collectively about 8%. We've got a tight, share structure, about 60 million shares outstanding, and we've got very strong shareholders. We've got a portfolio of solid assets in Canada and the US for gold, silver, and cobalt potential. With, with the projects that we have and, and the treasury that we're, we're sitting on, we're gonna have a good amount of news flow coming out over in, in, in the short to medium term. If you're interested in investing in Brixton Metals, or if you'd like more information, please visit our website, brixtonmetals.com.